reflector. I did actually start when I was six years old and then when I met my husband, he had shells. So it was a destined thing. When you pick up a shell off the beach and then you pick up another one, they're different. And then after a while you find there's so many different ones and you want to know why. My favourite shells would be cowrie shells, they're smooth, glossy, cowrie shells. We used to spend a lot of our holidays out at the Barrier Reef and there are plenty of cone shells at the Barrier Reef and some of them are quite venomous. Only when you irritate it by covering its aperture, they get very angry so they send out this poisonous dart. They give you a, a quarter of an hour to live. This is the coxcomb oyster, and this inspired Jan Hutzen to design the opera house. Shells are very important in, as far as shell craft is concerned. We have a, um, a South Sea Island and an Aboriginal um, culture here in Yapoon, and the boat that you see on the table is, came from Thursday Island from the Aboriginal people. And shell craft, we have lots of shell craft here made by our club members even. The Keppel Bay Shell Club was formed in 1962. 48 years on, it's bigger and better than ever. And there's at least 20,000 shells 